Hi again, everybody. Uh, Robert Lefebvre, BungieBones.com. I want to talk some more about the the um, Bungie Bones commission payment um, system. Now, everything that that is paid in or paid out is now in Bitcoin, and uh, we used to accept PayPal for payments. And um, well, I, I decided to go with strictly Bitcoin. One thing I realized when doing the coding was that uh, a dual system that was really, really difficult as far as accounting goes. And the Bungie Bones Commission plan is really quite unique. Uh, it's multi-level. Um, the pricing is dynamic across every every category has a different price so it just became just way too complex to try to do that in two different currencies now that's not to say that I might not revert back to accepting PayPal in the future but for now um, the the uh, only way is Bitcoin in and Bitcoin out. Now, uh, another point about keeping it all one is tax consequences and tax liability and regulations. And I mean, I could be wrong and drop me a note if you think this is asking for trouble. But um, I look at... Um, Bitcoin, while it's Bitcoin, as strictly a commodity, a payment mechanism. And I think so far that's the way the, the U.S. government officials are looking at it. They don't recognize it as a currency. So when you get paid with Bitcoin, it is not yet a payment that falls under taxation. Now that might change or it might change in different tax jurisdictions. But since I'm in the United States, if I receive Bitcoin in and Bitcoin out, um, as far as tax accounting goes, uh, I think I might be uh, the definition of what they use in agriculture, an accrual system, that um, when I take something out of that pot, that, that kettle, that, that, that account that's entirely made up in, in numbers on a computer um, that represent Bitcoin and when I go and actually cash out a Bitcoin then at that point I have income that needs to be claimed so um, uh, if, if I have cash coming in and Bitcoin going out uh, it just becomes a nightmare and I might even fall under the um, auspices of being a, a money exchanger, okay, money transmitter. So um, with the recent changes in regulations, that was a big part of the drive to, to getting it only to Bitcoin. So now I'm going to start with um, the actual Bitcoin commission plan. So what we have with Bitcoin is a multi-level commission system and it's all based on the sale of an web advertising okay and the the buyer will come in and will have a choice of different prices and I call them price slots and that's what the commission is based on. It's a percentage of what the buyer is paying. And they can bid, they can pay more, they can pay less, and, and it, it's their payment level determines their position on a page. So the, the links on a page are ordered from the highest paying to the lowest paying to free and there's also the opportunity to bid the same as somebody else. It's not like a constant um, bidding war that, that you have to 
constantly outbid. The price slots, okay, are um, determine the order of display, but within a price slot, you could you can come in and pay the same as somebody else, and because they were there first, they get displayed first. So it's a combination of price and seniority, and that's the way free links are also um, ordered. So there's a there's a, a motive for paying more than the next person, and it means that the price that they're paying should be going up as in Bungie Bones gets more web traffic. The demand for the advertising should also increase and the price uh, basically goes up automatically. Um, and th there'll be more on that when we go over how to bid and how to purchase um, in another video. So in the commission plan, it, the the place to start is with the person that makes the sale. Now, what constitutes making a sale? Well, um, it starts even before the sale with the registration of a user. Wherever a user registers, that website or becomes the one that would be entitled to a commission on that person buying advertising. So they can come in as, as paid or free and they've registered at let's say site A and after three months they decide okay well I'm going to convert from free to paid I want a better position for my link and they start to pay and they pay every month and um, well even though they didn't start paying for three months that site that they registered at will start receiving a commission and they will continue to receive a commission each and every time that website makes a payment and um, the commission for that site that makes a sale is always 50%. The one that makes a sale always receives 50%. Now, the remaining 50% will get divided among that website's upline following like a, a, an algorithm, and we'll get into that. And so the upline is the website that the host, uh, the one that has the web directory, uh, it's the site that they signed up at. So, if if your your site A and a, a site signs up, you get paid if they purchase paid advertising. Well, if they add a web directory and they make a sale, they would be entitled to fifty fifty percent. But because you're their upline, you are going to be sharing in the remaining 50%. Okay, and I have a chart that helps that helps show that. And um, again, the the I call it an override on their commission. Um, that override continues for each and every time that the purchaser makes a purchase. So. Um, it's a long-term residual commission that, that's earned by adding a Bungie Bones web directory to your website. The second point, it is possible and des desirable that, that sites, for sites that registered for either free or paid advertising from one of our affiliated sites to add the directory script themselves and start earning commissions in their sales. When that happens, it creates a multi-level commission structure with the original site being referred to as the upline and the new site as the downline. Sales by a downline result in that, in that site's entire upline sharing the remainder of the ad fee after their own 50% commission is paid them i.e. 50% is paid to the seller and the remaining 50% is split among the uplines. The seller and the upline 
share the commission each and every time that the buyer makes a payment. That means long-term residual income for Bungie Bones and its partners. If a website registers for a free link and later converts to a paid advertiser, then the referring website website will still collect the same commission under the same terms, regardless how long after their registration they converted from a free to a paid link. If, when the advertising fee increases and the buyer pays more due to more traffic and a website competition for the traffic, then the commission paid increases proportionate to the percentage rate. For example, if the seller was receiving 0.05 Bitcoin on a 1.1 Bitcoin sale, they will receive 0.1 Bitcoin when the buyer's bid essentially doubles or, or goes to 2.2 Bitcoin. So there's raises built in into the fee, in, into the commission. Okay. And here we talk about bungee bones and multi-level marketing. It is important for you to understand from the outset that there is absolutely no fee whatsoever earned by recruiting anyone. Now that's firm, okay? Um, if anyone ever thinks that they want to start charging people and I hear about it, then their entire upline, downline, everything is forfeited. That's in our terms. Okay, there is no fee. And the reason for that is, um, by law, the difference between a pyramid and a multi-level marketing, pyramids are illegal and multi-level marketing is perfectly legal. Okay, and what separates them is the amount of earnings from recruiting versus the amount of earnings from selling a product and I don't even want to go near that bridge I don't even want to know to go near that edge so I'm staying as far away from that edge of being a pyramid as I possibly can not only for, I'm not for fear of, of prosecution even though that would be you know um, that wouldn't be good just for the expense of it, even if you're, you're not. Um, but just for the reputation, even multi-level itself is a tough rep, tough rap. And I wasn't that enthusiastic about embracing a multi-level commission system. But I see that it's the fairest way for giving people a stake in the long-term success of bungee bones and that's the idea that if you have a multi-level long-term commission coming in from being associated with bungee bones you're going to take an interest in training your recruits you're going to take an interest in promoting um, web traffic to your recruits so that's that's the reason um, and, and, I, and I'm, I'm taking it serious uh, it's a multi-level program it's not a pyramid and I don't even want to he ever hear that word in any of my associates excuse me for being so adamant but uh, it, it's a serious thing and um, enough said Okay, therefore, multi-level override commissions can only be earned on actual sales of your downline and never for you or them recruiting a new member, period. Okay, here's the multi-level um, payment schedule. Rule one, the person, website, making the sale always gets 50%. Okay, so um, uh, that's a deep topic. I, we're not going to go into this, but there, in in many multi levels, it's it's a product. It comes into an area. It's new. It gets exciting. Everybody's joining. Everybody's recruiting, and it reaches a point where it's saturated, and the last person buying in invested, and that's the sales pitch. They are investing, and 
they never they have a hard time getting their money because everybody they approach is already in the multi-level thing that's why they such a close line between that and the pyramid so when when the person on the bottom always gets 50 percent um, and it doesn't cost them anything to join and they're investing their web traffic the only thing they really have to lose is their web traffic and that's assuming that they were selling it somewhere else and making more money but even that doesn't apply with bungee bones because bungee bones doesn't compete with pay-per-click pay-per-clicks on the side of your content usually bungee bones is on a page all by itself and you can run the two at the same time on your website so uh, it, do, it doesn't prevent anybody it doesn't um, it, it shouldn't be affected by saturation and I haven't mentioned it yet but there is also the idea that when you add a web directory you become your own first customer in which case then you earn a 50% commission on your purchase which is basically double talk for saying you get a 50% discount um, for installing a web directory and with that even at the point of saturation if every website in the world um, had bungee bones installed the person would still want to install bungee bones to get the 50% commission savings or payment uh, fee advertising fee payments um, savings so all right so there's a lot of incentives to getting people to getting the web directory installed um, to keeping uh, a proper uh, a fair structure in the fees and things like that so okay rule number two the remaining commission is divided in two parts with one one of the two going to the seller's immediate upline so the the person making the sale gets half the next immediate upline gets half of the remaining half or 25 percent okay the seller gets 50 the next person up gets 25 leaving a remainder of 25 percent rule number three step two is repeated again and again until such time as the next immediate upline is bungee bones itself at that point bungee bones receives the final remaining portion of the initial advertising fee that will become clear I think when you see this chart so here's the first level this picture here sales income coming in so a, a sale comes in level one the one that makes the sale receives 50 percent there's a remainder that bungee bones is is um, using to to calculate if there's no upline to that site other than bungee bones and bungee bones gets the remaining 50 percent now when more levels come in so in this case we got level one level two level three so level three makes the sale they get 50 percent level two is level three's upline they get half of the remaining half 25 percent that makes a total of 75 between the two right so then level one is above level two there's 25 percent remaining it gets half that leaves 12 and a half percent left for bungee bones okay so you see in this in, in, in very short time the levels selling are making more than the upper levels and that's the way it's supposed to be so and then at that point there's two ways that the amount of income can increase one with higher fees more traffic and with this we have four websites now contributing traffic we definitely have more traffic okay and um, so we got higher fees and or getting more people and it, it's it's a uh, uh, it's a cooperative to build a, a better product a, a more valuable product as we go so this one here at 10 levels 
Let me see if I can increase the size here. Okay. Okay, at 10 levels, 10th level gets their 50%, level 9 gets 25, level 8, 12 and a half, level 7, 6.5%, 3. 125, level 5, 1.56, 0.73%, 3.3. Now, now if, you, if you heard the video about me accepting Bitcoin, the concept about micropayments starts to um, take hold because um, at this type of fractional cut, now if we're only talking a dollar, a month that's how much is left over after everybody gets their cut it would be nine cents okay not a whole lot but at each of these levels there's probably more than one website okay the remainder always gets divided in two for further distribution path to the upline The remaining available port for bungee bones at 10 levels deep is less than one-tenth of one percent. Okay, how well can the commission split go? And this is a, a really loose policy. Most multi-levels will break it off at a certain level, like six or eight levels deep. So not even that deep. And I think because of Bitcoin and that the programming is already made and already done it doesn't cost any more to calculate to lower levels the expense comes into making payments um, but that's all a little bit up in the air but um, so I'm making like a policy statement that I will go as low as possible to where it doesn't become a, an accounting financial nightmare. If it costs more to do the accounting than what it's worth, um, then we'll, we'll cut it off. But And, and we're talking if it ever cut, gets cut off at, at fractions of a penny. So it, it becomes a moot point. But um, The, the other aspect of it is um, at my website at Bungie Bones we make a promise we make a guarantee that says um, we always have a spot for free links and and the micropayment is always still more than what a free link pays unless the electronics the calculations and the accounting is a cost then it's a burden instead of just it's more expensive than having a free link. So until it reaches that point, then um, we'll continue with as low well as, as possible. But one other point, and then I'll finish up. Um, Bungie Bones makes this guarantee to always have a spot for free links, but that's not the case for people who add the web directory themselves. There's a, an op. Um, that you can select if you want to display free links on your website and or if you do for how long you can decide to only show them for a week after they register or a month or or, or two months or six months or a year okay so that's uh, an option that um, sites hosting the web directory get to make and the reason being it's your web traffic you have the right to decide who and how to distribute it okay so um, with that said um, Bungie Bones official policies will reserve the right to stop payments now that's below a certain level not all the payments throughout the whole line 
Okay, after a downline grows beyond an as yet uncertain level, many network marketing plans stop at eight, but our goal is to keep the downline payments going as far as practical. And even if we ever need to put a limit on how many levels we pay, you see from the chart that the cancellation beyond the lower level payments would be a very small percentage change in the commission received by the uplines. Okay, see you in next video.